Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on the awesome Jessica Rabbit. If you guys haven't seen Who Framed Roger Rabbit, you have to see it. She's just awesome, she's beautiful, she's sexy, and she just reeks funny. <laughs> and it's actually on Netflix now. I was inspired to do this video by the beautiful Andrea's Choice. She did it a few years back and I loved it. Definitely check hers out. So this video will definitely show you how to accomplish this look. So if you like what you see, keep watching. For this video's sake, I'm going to do my left eye. Jessica Rabbit has her hair hung over her face. Now, if you wanted to go out for Halloween, you can definitely do both eyes. So first, I'm going to black out my eyebrows with this Elmer's glue. I'm going to put that all over my eyebrows and let it dry. Then I'm going to take my Ben Nye Banana Powder and set the glue. Depending on how thick your eyebrows are, you're going to have to do this a few times. I actually did it three times. Next, you want to take a thick cream foundation and put it all over your eyebrows. I'm using Heavenly Honey by Black Opal. Next, to ensure that your foundation doesn't move, use a primer. I'm using the Stay Matte Primer by Rimmel. Next for my foundation, I'm going to use L'Oreal True Match in W7. To set that, I'm using the banana powder again. Next to map out where Jessica's signature eyelid and eyebrow, I'm going to use a white eyeliner pencil just to map it out. Jessica has a high arched eyebrow. This gives her that ooh sexy look. Then for her lid. The highest part of her lid is coming all the way into my eyebrow. To get as much color payoff, I'm going to use Milk by NYX and put it all over the drawn in lid. Next, I'm going to take this dark purple and put it on the outside of the lid. Next, I'm going to use this lavender color and put it on the inside of the lid, blending it into the dark purple. Then I'm using black shadow for her eyebrow. To give the illusion that she has a crease, I'm going to use a brown eyeshadow and go around the lid. To highlight underneath the brow, I'm going to use the Pro Concealer by LA Girl. Then I'm going to blend that in. I wanted to brighten up the purple, so I'm going to use this purple in this Fergie Collection palette just to make things brighter. To set my highlight underneath my eyebrow, I'm going to use this translucent powder. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes, add mascara, and my falsies. For falsies today, I'm using Ardell's Double Up Lashes in number 203. To make the eyes appear even bigger, I'm going to take the lashes and put them solely on the outside of my eye. This will make the eye look even bigger. Next for my wing, I'm using the e.l.f. Cream Eyeliner. I'm creating my wing from the false lash and out. I'm also using the Liquid Eyeliner by NYC. To blend my lash and the false lash, I'm going to put some mascara over both of them. I'm going to place some mascara on my bottom lash as well. Now to highlight underneath the eye on the bridge of my nose as well as around my lips, I'm going to use the Pro Concealer by LA Girl and Maybelline's Adri Wine Concealer. Then I'm making sure I'm blending that out with my foundation brush. For contouring, Jessica definitely had a contour to her face. I'm going to use this black opal suede mocha and put it on the hollows of my cheeks as well as around the hairline. I'm putting foundation on my lips to mute them out. I need them muted being that I'm going to draw some new lips onto my lips. 
if that makes any sense. I'm just using the basic red lipstick. I want to keep the fullness, I just have to decrease the length. Next I'm using this deep red lip liner to line my lip. And the last step for makeup, the showstopper. I've never seen a lip gloss this creamy and juicy looking ever in my life. I'm going to use this LA Colors lip gloss and put it all over my lips. Next for my hair, I used the High Beams Intense Spray in burgundy and copper and sprayed it all over my wig. Note, if you have dark hair, you might want to use the copper. The copper works better for dark hair. Being that Jessica's hair isn't red red, it's more like orangey red. This spray does rinse out with water and it will get everywhere. To clean my lips, I'm going to use the Pro Concealer by LA Girl and go around my lips. And that's it. That concludes my Jessica Rabbit look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.